I'm Kerry. And this is Jason. And along with our dog Dexter, we made the biggest decision ever to sell everything we own and move aboard a 1969 wooden motor cruiser. So join us as we take on the mammoth task of trying to restore this boat to her former glory and hopefully one day get her back out on the water. Welcome back, it is Saturday and Jason is just doing the water, it's quite a nice day, we didn't get any snow thank goodness, it's just been really really cold and we've just had loads of rain, uh, we've had no leaks which is good, so I was letting Jason do the hose pipe because somehow I always managed to get it covered in mud, um, but yeah we've got a few bits to do today, so let's crack on. Right, so today we've got to take a look at our two kilowatt diesel heater. <laughs> diesel heater problems again. Well, it's not a problem. No, I think it just must be a little a hole in a pipe somewhere. It's sucking through a bit of fumes on startup. Yeah, so... Uh, so it's a quick nose at that. And... Yeah, um, we're still not going to do any fiberglassing or anything because it's still too wet, too cold. It's only one degree, even though we've got the boat door open, it's pleasantly... Nice out there. Oh no, we're up to three degrees. Oh, three degrees. Um, so yeah, gonna have a look at that. You might do a bit to your dinghy. Yeah, I might go and uh, do the repairs to the um, punctures on the dinghy. Yeah. As it's pretty reasonable out there today. And because you need to get the dinghy out of storage because he cause, wants the dinghy for our summer plan. Well, not only that, I need it out of the yeah. uh, thing because I've got loads of stuff in there and I haven't got room for a it's three a con meter dinghy in there. <laughs> it's a continuous sort out of the storage. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, yeah, see how much we get done on that plan. Yeah, lots, hopefully. <laughs> Trouble is, whenever Jace gets on the floor, the dog thinks it's playtime. <laughs> it is playtime, isn't it? Jason's got his little helper today, Dexter. <laughs> Although Dexter's usually much help. So the floor's back up again. again. Yeah, so you just get the fumes when it first starts uh, firing up. Um, obviously, we've got the air intake that we had to quickly divert because uh, we forgot <laughs> when we removed the box that was the air intake. Um, but we're just trying to see if there's any, excuse the dog's towel there in the camera shot. Um, if there's any leaks or what's going on? Uh, I think it was where I stuck this on. It wasn't stuck very well. What makes you say that? Because it wasn't stuck very well. Ah. <laughs> Is that because we had that rubbish tin foil tape? Uh, no, it was just because it was a quick, quick job, uh, quickly jobbed, and I just stuck it on now, I suppose it's just filled off slightly, so it's just getting a little bit of uh, smoke just on start up. 
so nothing major. Nothing major. Good out. It's just nice to see the sun today. It's been a right miserable week. But hey, Jay's no leaks. Don't say things like that. <laughs> Oh my god. What would you say that for? <laughs> well, because there haven't been any leaks. Oh, I know, but you didn't have to say it. <laughs> That's it now. I've jinxed it. Yeah. Oh, a bit like a sieve in here now. Not much water in the bilges either. Oh, no, it's because I've been emptying the bilges every day. It was a lot the other day, but we'd had torrential rain all day. Yeah. A little bit. It's alright, I'm listening for the water tanks. <laughs> now I'm listening for the bilges. Makes me want to go away that noise. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's got their diesel eaters going and we've got all the doors and windows <laughs> open. So what, you're going gonna, you're gonna to stick the pipe back on or...? Yeah, I'm just going to tape it back on for the moment because eventually I will put an air vent on the side. Uh, but temporarily, it's just... You coming. really struggle with that word, don't temporarily. you? Temporarily. Uh, temporarily. Yeah, temporarily. <laughs> 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 it's just one of those words that it just Temp seems to go on forever. Yeah, temporarily. Uh, yeah, so it's just temporarily tape it up and then at some point when it's nicer weather I'll cut a hole inside and put the vent in and finish fitting that one in properly. But yeah, a bit of tape. I think I'd only yeah, had a little bit of tape on it last time, oh. so <coughs> as it was a, a quick emergency. <laughs> Yeah, as you can see, that's the middle cabin diesel heater down there. Oh, they've seen plenty of that one. <laughs> I think they, they've seen plenty <laughs> of all of our diesel heaters. So we're back up in the storage and I'm trying to repair the uh, leaks on the dinghy. <laughs> so I've got myself a little... Uh, battery powered hot air gun so I can warm up the side strip because uh, I need to get that off because the hole is right on the edge of it I shall show you in a second right so as you can see a big hole uh, so I've, I need to warm all this up and peel it back so I can put a nice size patch all the way around and underneath underneath this so I'm not having a fun time doing it it's not very easy but we'll give it a go Of, uh, of a hotter breath sucking a polo than this hot air gun produces takes a, takes a little while to get any warmth into it Try all different things. <laughs> I may come back to you when I've done a bit more because it could I could be here for quite a while. So I left you for a, a few minutes. 
I couldn't get this thing off. It is on there terribly strong. I've managed to peel a little bit back. Um, so I've, I've cut, I think, oh, here we go. Look. I've cut the shape to go in and around and I've just put one coat of glue on. So I'm just leaving it to dry for the moment. And then I'll do another coat of glue in a second. And then the third coat of glue, uh, I will stick it on and see how it works. Hopefully it works. Well, there we go. We've got a patch on. We'll see how it does. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll just take it off and do another one. But hopefully I'll be able to get it out and blown up possibly tomorrow um, and see how it holds here. I've also got about another four or five tiny little patches to put on, but I'm not going to bore you with them because it's, it's boring me doing it. It's not the uh, most exciting of jobs. Uh, just a lot of waiting around for glue to go tacky. Uh, that's about it really, there's not a lot to do to it, so I shall let you know when it's all done. up in the container um, the dinghy is looking okay hopefully it will blow up okay uh, I was gonna blow it up now and take it down to the boat but it's blowing a gale out there so trying to carry a 3.2 meter uh, dinghy on my own down a pontoon <laughs> it's just not happening today I don't think uh, so that may be a job for one evening in the week but I do have a new emergency stop for uh, the uh, outboard mower so I may well chuck that on now there's the new emergency pull uh, we have got one on the other one but I didn't have the bit to pull off and I bought uh, one off eBay and it was too big so I thought I'd just go and buy the whole lot make life easier so I've already loosened that bit. So we'll whip that off. And that pushes through. But now I've got to take all of this off so I can get the wiring out. So that's my job now. Thank you. 
as all good boating projects go, doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, the part that goes through the arm is the wrong diameter, so I will have to uh, bring a file home, file it out a bit to make it the right size. It should fit fine in there. Once it's filed out, it's just the hole's a little bit different shape. Oh, uh, oh, oh and the wiring is slightly different. Uh, the old wiring has two bullet connectors on the end and the new wiring has a bullet connector and a circle circle as a round terminal on it so i'm going to need to cut the round terminal off and put a bullet connector on that as well which is no problem that's an easy bit it's uh filing it out that's going to be a bit of a pain but shouldn't take too long but that will have to be for another date because i don't have a file here i'll have to go to work pick one up uh I'll show you what the problem is. So I did find something else to do while I was here. Uh, I bought myself some gearbox oil for the outboard as well. So I've already taken the plug out of there and out of there. So I'm just going to fill it up. going to cut the top off the oil, see if I can not make a mess, knowing me, probably will. Right, and now we have to wedge that in that hole and squeeze the oil in until it comes out of the top one. It's just coming out now. There it is. So I'll stick the top screw in and do that one up. And that create a vacuum inside. So when I undo this, if I'm quick not much oil will come out. Well, that's the idea anyway. Did I mention if I was quick? Now my sausage fingers are getting in the way. There we go. That's what that was easier and less messy than I thought it was going to be. Get a little wipe over. Well, that went all right, didn't it? Well, I accomplished something today. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so, start to finish done the job of filling the oil up 30 seconds all done uh, it's not much of an achievement I know but it's a drop off the list uh, hopefully I will get round to sorting the wiring out and the emergency uh, pull cord sometime through the week and if it's light enough I'll video what I'm doing there as well uh, and then that should should be it. The outboard will be ready to go and I've just got to pump the dinghy up and put it in the water. So all looking good so far. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, like and subscribe. I can't even say that word, subscribe. That's better. Like and subscribe. 
Uh, give us a thumbs up if you can. If you can't, don't worry, but it would like a thumbs up. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.